Hi students, my name is Manuel Blade Ford, your teacher for today. So, are you ready? Very good. So th today's lesson, we will talk about volleyball. But before that, let me give you a history of volleyball. That's great. So, volleyball was invented in 1895 by William G. Morgan in Massachusetts, New York. So, it was designed as an indoor sport for businessmen who found new game of basketball. Because back was back back in that year, back in that era, um the businessman there play basketball, but they think that there are some people or there are some businessmen that are not able to play basketball very well because of their um, big stomach or their heavy weight. That's why they invented volleyball. And the person who invented volleyball is William G. Morgan. Very good. And the first name of volleyball was not volleyball exactly. It is called Mintonet. Yes, it is Mintonet. And after that, um, let's talk about very good, guys. So, let's know how to play volleyball. So, to play volleyball, to win a game, a, a team should score 25 points with two point different. For the first game, the teams will play a short volley to decide who will get the first serve. A rally begins with a serve. So, to begin a rally, you need to what? Yes, very good to serve. A point is scored will scored when team is wins a rally. Yes, exactly. So, do you want to know what are the skills and techniques of volleyball? Okay, that's great. So, I will show you some videos of my personal collection videos of playing and um, showing the basic skills and techniques of volleyball. Are you okay with that? That's great. So, first is serving. Second is passing. Third is setting, fourth is spiking, blocking, digging, and we have the outside heater, right side heater, and opposite heater. That's great. Did you get all the skills and techniques of volleyball? Good. So let's talk about the basic rules of volleyball. First, we have the six players on the floor and anyone at the three time front row. Okay, we have the um we have six persons inside the volleyball court three persons in the front row and three persons at the back row that's why it consists of six players inside the volleyball court we have a setter um outside heater opposite heater um libero and spiker and digger yes um the players should be versatile that that they can always know how to do that kinds of techniques and valuable so maximum of three hits per side um let us um let us always remember that when we play volleyball it should be always three hit and then you need to pass it on the opposite side of the court points are made on every serve for winning team of rally so every point every mistake that the, the opposite of your team will commit is considered as a point so player may not hit the ball twice in succession ball may be played off the net during the volleyball and on a serve a ball hitting and a boundary line is in a ball is out if it's an antenna or it uh, the ball is um, considered out if it hits an antenna or something or any object that hits the ball that is considered as out and it is considered as a point. It is illegal to contact the ball with any part of the player's body. Um, it is illegal to um, to commit or to hit the ball with, with other parts of the body. So it is illegal to catch and hold and throw the ball. You are not able, you are not allowed to um, you are not allowed to catch the ball while playing because it is considered as a point in your opponent. A player cannot block or attack in the serve from the other side of the 10-foot line. Okay, um, as I aforementioned earlier that the, the court has a line and 
the three persons, the three players are inside the first line and the three, the three remaining players will, will be placed on the back. But if you are in the back of the first line, you cannot, you cannot um, attack. You cannot give a, a attack from the first line. You are not able to step on the 10 foot line. That is illegal. And after the serve, front front players may switch position at the net. So, um, this is one of the techniques of volleyball, and this is one of the skills that you need to remember. That um, if if you are in the first line or if you are in the attacking line, you are able to to change positions with your teammates inside the court as long as you um, three of you are in the fr front line. Okay, much are made with what with up of sets the number depends on the level of play we have three to uh two out of three sets and we have five five like three out of five sets so let's talk about the officials we have the scorer the scorer are uh the scorer are able to to record all the the points that uh, both teams are getting they should um pull it put it down the scores Okay, that's why they call scorers. Line judges, the line judges, you can find the line judges in um in the different sides of the court. They're able to com uh to to monitor the inside and outsides of the ball. Next is the first referee. The first referee, you may see the first referee at the top of the net. Um it, he is placed there at the top of the net and he's um he is he has a duty to monitor the um, touching the blocks, the net touch, the check balls. Yes, and the second referee, you can see that in the um, below, below the, uh, in front of the first referee, but um, he is, it is placed in the lower part of the court. Let's talk about the equipment and facilities. So, before we play volleyball, we, we need to have a court, right? We have to have a ball. We have to have a net. So um, we talk when we talk about. So when we talk about the volleyball court dimensions, uh, the volleyball court is 60 feet by 30 feet in total. The net is placed in the center of the court, making each side of the net 30 feet by 30 feet. So 60 feet in all. Hey everyone, so today I will show you the basic skills of volleyball. Let's start with serving. Okay, go. The next basic skill is passing. The third basic skill is setting. The fourth basic skill is spiking. The fifth basic skill is blocking. Okay. So hello students and I just hope that everyone of you have listened to my discussion about volleyball, about how volleyball works, about how the skills and per how the techniques of volleyball being performed. So now, we all know that every one of us here um, is not quite familiar of about volleyball okay but i know some of you guys have already know about volleyball so for those students who have um very very interesting um attitude very 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 well mannered um, i am um, i would like to request all of you guys to listen to me because at this moment i will be able to give some assessment and evaluation to you guys if how you're going to adopt the lesson about volleyball, okay? So, I have here some equipments to show to you, to those people who are able to see my equipments. It is very big advantage. But for those students who are not, um, who are not able to to see the equipment i can i can make it sure that you're able to recognize it by feeling it for those students who cannot see um i will be bringing the ball to you i will i will let you hold the ball and then feel it okay and i will just say to you that this ball is 
circular. It is circular and it is very, um, it is quite smooth and it's not very heavy so that you may be able to feel and recognize what volleyball, um, volleyball ball looks like, okay? And for those, for those students who are not able to stand up, I don't worry guys because I have a better way of showing you the equipment of volleyball. I will go there to you and I will just lend it to you so you may be able to experience and feel the essence of volleyball, okay? Would that be clear? Very good. So, um, there's, is there any questions? Oh, you are asking, how can you play volleyball? Okay, so, in your situation, um, in, in every, every situation of a pe person has, um, we should always consider, we should always find a way, we should always, um, look for the silver lining of every situation. So, in your case, that you are not able to, to, see the ball and your opponent um i have some requests and i have some ideas of how you're going to enjoy the volleyball right so i'll just give you some ball itself that i will make you feel the net uh, so that you're able to hold the ball even if you cannot play with your friends in actual game but at least um you can feel the uh, the warmth and the essence of volleyball and also you know the rules right and don't worry guys because um, there are a lot of games there are a lot of sports that we um, that we have we have to offer to you we have what do we call this um, sunka sunka is just a game that or domino that you need to put um a lot of um stones and it um it don't need to see the sunka because you need to use your mind or the all right you like that okay don't worry because for the upcoming lessons i will be able to teach you every everything that i know about the sports and everything that i have to offer to you guys and as of now for those students who are able to to recognize and see the volleyball to experience it um you're very lucky because you're able to experience it okay so at this moment um i will i will let you watch a movie about the volleyball i beat the clips of volleyball for but for those students who are not able to to re really watch the um practical volleyball play it's very okay because um you're able to at least feel because we cannot really judge that uh, we can't really go into further discussion about that because you you know that okay don't worry guys our school is very friendly our school is very open to each and everyone especially your classmates we love you everyone so at this point um um is there any questions Yes, I know that you love the topic. Yes, exactly. So at this point, um, I would like to ask everyone to please stand up. And then let's have our closing prayer by Karil. Thank you, Karil. So that's all for today. And I hope that you've learned a lot of lessons today. And I hope that you have experienced the the essence of volleyball and the meaning of volleyball the history of volleyball okay and don't worry guys we have a lot of things to discover more and more each and every day not just the volleyball we have basketball tennis ping pong soccer and everything that we need to discuss along uh, along this year okay thank you and god bless